opponents suggest we'd be having referendums every day of the week. How can we possibly run a country by having a referendum on every decision Parliament need, needs to make? The experience of most cities or states or countries that use referendums is they don't do them very often. Uh, I think most people, even those who are strong proponents of direct democracy, don't believe that it makes sense to have voters regularly deciding uh, issue after issue issue after issue. Uh, most voters, in fact, don't want to decide issue after issue after issue. They want the elected officials to do their job and decide most of the issues. I think the better way to think of an issue of the referendums is their safety valve. There's something that you don't really want to use, but there may be instances when it's right to use it. There may be instances when there's some, there's just some complicated issues where uh, where you really want to get a sense of the community. Uh, it's something that might come down to, to community values. Those could be things about um, marriage laws, perhaps, um, uh, um, forms of punishment, for example, capital punishment. Um, the, you know, the, these, these get into issues where, where some countries or, or, or cities or states might think that those are community values issues that need to be decided, um, not by a small group of people, but by a handpick of, you know, a small group of representatives, but by the people themselves. Um, there's also the issues where the representatives just don't just don't do what they should be doing uh, again because they're unduly influenced by things they shouldn't be influenced on, and and the direct democracy is just a way to the people to reassert their their rights uh, in a democracy to 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 get the policies they want when elected officials won't do what they want. But again, it, 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 I think it's not. I don't think many people would view direct democracy as a substitute for representative government. I think it's, it's properly viewed as an add-on. It's something that you would supplement your existing representative institution to provide safety valves and to, uh, and to provide some options just in case those institutions don't do, uh, don't do an ideal job. Well, this is a wonderful criticism uh, by taking um, a proposition to its extremes. It, it, it really is no nonsense. Nobody is suggesting that we do this. Uh, and even in uh, countries like Switzerland or, or uh, California, where they make extensive use of referendums, a tiny fraction of the um, legislative decisions are made by referendum. The significance is that they may have been controversial issues, big issues, or constitutional issues, but they still only represent four, five, six percent of the decisions in a year. So no, no part of the world gets remotely near this situation. So I would dismiss it.